Hey, it's your boy Crypto Expat, back with another video. In this video, we're going to do uh, just talk about a lot of these play to earn games. Okay, I want to tell you the truth about these play to earn games. And um, if you're into them or you want to make some money from them, yeah, you're probably not going to like the news I'm going to give to you, but you need to know this stuff because. Uh, if you're getting into them and you're trying to make some money you're probably going to want to watch this video to the end okay hey guys welcome back to the channel thanks for coming back if you're a new viewer welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome back hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the content if you don't forget about the subscribe button let's just roll with it okay so nft giveaway this is my last video a couple of days ago because i've been flat out busy 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 so i haven't had much time to make these videos for you guys but um we've been so busy with uh, nfts and uh, other stuff in our patreon group okay so that's kind of like where the my uh, where we find out about all the new stuff okay so consider joining our patreon bit of a shameless plug there but you know that's where the new projects are uh drunken robots i'm going to do the giveaway so we had uh 200 plus comments 264 comments which is pretty awesome so this is the giveaway for uh this one here okay so this container one you're going to be able to use this uh you know, open it up when the game starts and you're going to get a robot it says you get one robot okay worth 0 0.6 bnb and you're going to, be able to use this or well, very close to the end of the end of the month is when the game starts you're going to be able to use that robot and you're going to be able to play to earn okay so let's just uh announce the winner right now so thanks everyone for commenting i've just screened out the duplicates and all that good stuff so let's roll that good luck guys so we had this one here it sounds good but i can't post addresses comments uh yeah that's unfortunate because uh we need to roll and get another one okay so let's keep going so manu ppz nice video hope i get nasty nft well you got an nft manu ppz i will send your nft to this address that you have provided and you just need to go to app.liquify.io, uh, connect your MetaMask, and then when you come here, you'll see Marketplace My Items. Click on this, and then you will see your NFT in there, okay? And then once the game starts, you better open up your NFT. You get your uh, nasty NFT, and you better start playing and earning, okay? So congratulations. I'll send that off in a second, okay? All right, so let's just get into the video. These NFT play to earn games, all right, they're, they're, they're almost Ponzi-like. They're almost like, like, it's almost like a Ponzi, okay? From playing so many of these things, I've come to the conclusion that, you know, pretty much if you're not in at the beginning, which is the biggest risk, because you don't know it's going to be a rug or not, um, you know, you're, you're, you're probably not going to break even or make any money. This... Def, def pace i have not um joined this uh, i don't even think the game is going yet i don't i don't think because i can't uh, seem to um can't see anywhere where you can buy anything so maybe this one just keeps uh this one has just started and um we'll just have to uh you can just check this one out let's just go and have a look at the price so there is some activity here people are buying it um so yeah, it's. I do like how it's just, it's pretty steady. This might be a game that you might want to get into. Uh, you know, most of these games just click and earn. They're not any type of real gameplay or game theory behind it. Okay, so that's what you got to look for in these games where they have their farming, where they have uh, their NFTs, you know, where you can buy other stuff to add to your character and all that sort of stuff okay if it hasn't got any top of that anything like that it's it's probably a game that's not gonna last so again i have not looked into this one uh in depth but check that one out it's uh it's called death pace uh i'll put all the links below okay now this one here has just been a schmuzzle it's just been terrible uh this has been one of my worst ones okay and um 
Look, it's the same team as D Ball. That's that's what I believe. This came out after D Ball, um, and you know, it, from what I'm hearing, there's uh, the same team, uh, which is you know, primarily based in Vietnam. From you know, from the information I have, again, I can't verify any of this stuff, but you know, you hear you hear stuff all over over and over and again, right? So you kind of like put the puzzle together to what you think. Um, but again, you know, no one really knows unless you're in the actual team. But the the team is based in Vietnam, but they have multiple people, um, you know, doing these projects because there's there's probably about five or six that I know of running at the same time, and uh, Play to Earn is one of them. It's the same team, okay? And this one has just gone downhill rapidly. It went down like I can't even find the. Uh, I can't even find it on Pucoin. I probably deleted it. But last time I looked at it, it was like $2. So, you know, and this whole thing of, you know, these people that are making these games, it's the same team and they just create them and then they just keep on dumping the coins. So, yeah, who knows? This one here, uh, a Linux. You know, if you got into this one earlier, you might have made some money. I did not get into this one. But again, you know, same type of deal, right? It's very similar. Um very similar games where you just uh, click buttons, choose, you've got four choices and then, you know, basically it's like, there's not really a game, there's no gameplay to it. So, this one here, uh, let's go and have a look at, see this is 0 0.003, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's heading down, okay, it's heading down and like, it's like anything, these games, they start off good in the beginning, but then once, you know, more people coming, um, they either drain the uh, the token pool, uh, rewards pool. It's just it just gets really bad. The, you know, the longer that the the later that you get in on these things. Okay, so uh, that's probably a bust. If you got into this early enough, you probably might have broken even and made some money. Hero battle. This is a new one. I have not joined this one. Um, I've heard mixed reports about this one. Um, but again, it's, yeah, it's a play to earn. Let's just go and have a look at, see if they're the chart. You know, when they start off early, they, they moon and then they just slowly decline over the next, uh, you know, week or so. So this one is on the way down, as you can see there. Um, probably too late for this one. I mean, like this started on the 31st of October. It's seven days old. All right. So probably too late if you got in this early you would have made some money but um you need to get into this in the, either in the first or the second day um but i have not got into this maybe you have already you're making money comment below but i would not get into this now pet games another one that you know burst on the scene uh i did not get into this i i just I just just so many that um, that have come out. Uh, I just I'm just really picky now because having seen like the ones that I've been in and that I've seen seeing the way that they've gone, I just you just know what's coming, right? Um, this one here, pet games, and you know these look they all look very very similar. You notice they all look very very similar. I can't confirm that they're all it's the same team probably not but you know i know there's at least four or five of them by the same team so again this one's gone up and then it's kind of like slowly decline this one is already seven days old i would not personally me i would not get into it it's too late okay it's already on the decline um star miner this was good at the start but then you know they just started introducing stuff to slow it down i don't know what this airdrops this airdrop thing just i don't know they haven't even said anything about that airdrop but um yeah now they're uh it's less the rewards are less and the boost you need to add the boost i've not added the boost so you need to buy like the lp which is the all which is a good thing but so you get the all which is the token and the and BNB you stake it on PancakeSwap and you get the LP and then you can boost 
which basically gives you energy faster. Um, I have not done that. I'm just not invest. I'm just, you know, in my opinion, you just don't invest any more things into this. You either get in early, you buy all the NFTs that you're going to buy, and then you just play the game until it dies, or you try to get out earlier because you don't, you just don't invest anymore. Okay, you just don't do it because they they've got a short uh, lifespan. Shelf life is very very short on these things. Okay, so. This one here, I might be lucky to break even. Okay, I did join this one. Um, let's just go and have a look. Yeah, see, look at that. It's down to two cents. This, I, I don't know if this is the same as the D, uh, team as D-Ball. But as you can see clearly there, um, it's declined big time. You know, and this was like $7. I think I bought in this was like $5. So it's declined a lot. Now it's $2. So pretty much... You're just gonna have to milk this for what it is and then just try to get as much back of my seed money i'll probably lose on this one but not not a lot maybe 50 bucks but it is what it is uh that's why i don't rush into these games i don't fomo into any of them anymore uh crypto Zoom. i sold my characters which i um put like pretty cheap not cheap but i was the cheapest and it sold like immediately i sold two of my characters for uh oh geez i can't remember but it was um it was quite a bit and i think over one bnb i can't i can't remember i have to look, go back and look at the transactions but i walked out of this with a nice profit this is my second biggest profit earner um so this one has been good to me um crypto zoom because i got in this early i think this is going to be gone for a couple of weeks um so this is my second biggest earner but the thing i did with crypto zoom was i was able to cash out my characters all right so you go to the marketplace and you're about to sell them some of the play to earn games don't um have the marketplace where you can sell to other members or other members can buy your nfts so this is a real big thing because once the game starts to decline and this usually happens after about seven to ten days what i'm doing now is i'm selling i'm selling my characters all right and i'm so I, I, I try to get as much as I can. If the price has gone up, then I'll make money. If it's gone down, but I'll still recoup some of that seed money I put in. All right. And that's what I did. So that's my new tactic now. Okay. I'll try to cash out. In fact, I'll try to only join games that have a marketplace. Okay. So there's a tip. I wasn't able to do that with, was it Crypto Ball? I don't even know what, Crypto Drake Ball, that's it. I wasn't able to do that. I've got two accounts with uh, four characters each. Although this has been very good to me, uh, at one point I was making um, 900 bucks a day, uh, and you know I got in this pretty much ROI within the first three days, and then for the last two weeks I've been able to cash out like a lot of money. So um, this has been my best earner, and I think this was the first one that started everything for these guys, and then they started to create more games since the success of uh, Drake Ball. Right then, they started to bring out Plan to Earn, um, and then there was another one. I can't remember the other one. Might have been Poker Monster. I don't know if this is the same team, but another one that um, Poker Monster. That was one that I just I didn't I didn't break even on. I can't even find the URL now. I, I might have deleted it. So that was a uh, that was a bust. Block creatures, as you can see there, I've got a little bit of balance, so I might as well just keep on playing this. Uh, this one is declining quite a lot. So my last video, I sort of gave you my my opinions on this one, and it started off really well, but it just kept on declining. So uh, someone is dumping, okay, and it's, it's pretty obvious to me who's dumping. But anyway, it's now two dollars. This was twenty dollars, like you know seven days ago if you look at the chart here you know this got up to twenty dollars it shouldn't have dumped this much two weeks ago see look at this huge decline so a bit unfortunate for this one because this one's supposed to be um i can't even click on anything um this one was supposed to be uh, a good one long term one but it never never eventuated you know Dragon Slayer, oh my god, this one has been a total shit show from the beginning, from the get-go. But, funnily enough, I was actually able to break even, and I still made a little bit of profit. Not much, but, I mean, I have six characters here. Let me just find my account. See, I have six characters here, and uh, it's just not even worth cashing out now, because the rewards are so low. I had 200,000 DRS, and then I got taxed 20%. 
I cashed out 161,000 DRS and I got like 30 bucks. So this is a total bust. It's not even worth playing anymore. Um, yeah, this has been a sad state of affairs, this one. It's just, they just had so many dramas, which is unfortunate because uh, they, did, they did a lot, actually. I, I don't know who, see, so this is it here. See, as you can see, I just sold here on the, on the bend. Just as it started dipping, that's where I sold. And it just went washed down, all right? So, um, yeah, lucky to get out of that one with some, with a little bit of money. I would have, wouldn't even got my 30 bucks, you know? So this is, they're just trying to plug the sinking ship. They're trying to plug the holes on the sinking ship. And this is going to be like the Titanic. It's going down. So if you make, if you broke even on this one, great. I was able to, um, make some profit, not a lot, but still I have these characters, six characters now. I can't do anything with them. And you know, the marketplace is not the marketplace where you can like you can't even sell these to other people. So you know there probably would have been auctions if it was ready, but it just it was total bust. So that has been pretty bad. Okay, so I've got some good ones actually coming up after this. All right, so hey, just stick with this Monster War. I believe that this is this is not yet launched yet, and this is um, same makers as Crypto Zoom. This is what I've heard. Now I don't know if it's true or not, but you know you hear this stuff in the Telegram. It's called Monster War, and it's if you look at it, it's very similar characters to uh, Crypto Zoom. So this is coming out. Uh, it's not out yet, actually. I might get into this one. Actually, I, I've got to do some more research. This is at Monster War. I'll put all the links below anyway. Monster War IO, and it looks like it's the same creators as Crypto Zoom because Crypto Zoom had a good run. You know, they had. They had a good two, three weeks, CryptoZoon. So if it's the same owner, I think it might be a good game from all, you know, from what they've learned from uh, CryptoZoon. Um, I might look at getting into this one, okay? So check that out. We're going to get down to our final ones. Wanaka or Wan, Wana. This is uh, a NFT game, which is long term. Okay, this has got, I'm very keen on this one. This is like a, a lot very similar to Axie Infinity meets Farmville kind of thing token uh, economy and um, you know same sort of deal you buy the NFTs and then you can um, farm and you can trade and you can grow your, your crops and you can water them and you can build other things and get more um, crops and you know you 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 know the cycle kind of uh, goes around in full circle right but this one actually is looks fantastic I believe this team does look like they're from uh, somewhere in Asia, Southeast Asia. I'm looking forward to playing this. I picked up some a bunch of tokens early on. It was 80 cents when I saw this, and a um, bunch of people um, when I mentioned it, hey guys, get into this. It's 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 uh, it's going to pump. And then I went off and did some other stuff. I was doing some NFTs or something. I forgot about it. Then I got into it here about two, $2.30 or something. And it pumped to $4.20. And then it's pulled back to $3.80. But this is going to be a two eighty. But it's good. this is going to be a good long-term one. So, um, yeah, it's still early days. It's only 500000 I think this is going to be this is going to be more like on the lines of uh, Plant vs. Undead and Splinterlands and uh, Axie Infinity, kind of, you know, that sort of type of game. Okay, it's going to be more long-term. So check that out if you want long-term stuff, okay? If you're sick and tired of these play to earn, you know, uh, rug pulls and uh, Ponzi type of games, okay? Star Atlas, this had huge hype on this one. This is like a space game um, in the solar system. Uh, yeah, it looks really cool. Really cool graphics. It's got a pretty cool trailer. Um, big wraps on this one. I actually got into this on the pre-sale. And I bought. I was able to get this. This is a two-token game as well. Two-token economy. There's Atlas, one token. And then there's Polis, which is another token. Um, so I got in the pre-sale. I've done a 70x on the Polis. Uh, which is pretty cool. I just I had to take the profit, but yeah, I was able to turn what sixty nine dollars into like over four and a half k with this one. So I sold um, 
but apparently it's supposed to be a good game, so that's coming up, so check that out, Star Atlas. Binomon, uh, this is also done well, it's it's doing well. Um, it's not quite on uh, fully out there at the moment, I'm not playing it at the moment, but I've got tokens. And the tokens are going up in value, so people are playing this one and um, they're trying to they're trying to be like beat out uh, Axe Infinity, who really knows, but I mean I'm holding the tokens and they're going up in value, so um, if you want to play this game, play it. Uh, it seems to be one of the ones that's got really big team behind it and it's more long term as well, okay? So that's Binamon.org. Black Eye Galaxy, this one is uh, probably under the radar, not many people are talking about this one. Um, the planets, you can buy the planets in a, uh, what, on the September the 20th. Check out their Twitter. Um, so the game is not not out yet, but it's slowly coming out. And um, it's going to be like a universe uh, type of space game. NFTs, uh, you buy planets and solar systems, you explore galaxies, mine, mine resources, and start your civilization. So check that out. Black Eye Galaxy, again, this one has done done uh, pretty well. It's pretty under the radar, so you might better still pick this up pretty cheap uh, on Pancake Swap. All right, Snook, we got into this one last night. This is a uh, skill-based NFT play-to-earn type of game, um, and it's on Polygon, so you don't have to worry about the fees there as much. And it's got these weird looking, yeah, these things here, these dragon type of things. And it's like, yeah, it's it's game. You have to play this game and you can um, earn, uh, play it, like you can earn rewards doing it. So there's, I haven't really looked into the game because I'm, I'm probably not going to play the game, but I just bought the tokens. I've got the tokens in a um, IDO. So we do IDOs as well. We do all sorts of stuff in our Patreon group. Uh, yeah, this one is um, it's going to be listed on... I think it's going to be listed on QuickSwap. I haven't even looked at whether it's been listed yet or not, but I know I've got, well, I got my tokens. As of editing this video, I was able to have a look at the stats uh, of Snook, and I basically paid $102 in IDO tokens. We got 50% airdrop straight away of 162.5 SNK. So I was able to sell them for 298 USD for 194 Matic. And so that, that leaves me with 200% profit already. And I still have 50% more tokens, which will come next month. So uh, yeah, it's been a good idea, this one. So that's a good uh, bird's eye view. There's still tons that I didn't mention. But, you know, in my opinion, if you want to get into these play to earn games, if you get into the ones that are just like click a couple of buttons and you can make money, these ones I showed you earlier, they're not going to last. All right, you basically got like if you don't you're not in there within the first couple of days, forget about it. You're just going to lose money. You're not going to you're not going to break even, and you're going to get frustrated. Okay, I've done tons of them, and it's the same thing. All right, I'm just very selective if I do go into them. Uh, I'm just not going to go into it like I used to FOMO into them. Okay. Well, I was lucky. I made some good money with it. I learned a lot of stuff, so it's been, it's been good. If you want to play the more long-term games, like Wanaka Farm, um, Star Atlas, Binamon, or Snook, or Black Eye Galaxy, Planet vs. Undead, Splinterlands, you know, these are sort of more long-term games. Axe Infinity. You might want to play them, or you might just want to do what I also do, which is just buy the token. And just hold the token. You know, this has been really good for me. I've I've made some really good gains by just buying the token and just uh, holding it in my MetaMask, and it's gone up. I doubled, even tripled my money, and I didn't even play the game. You know, so that's also another way to just earn passively without playing the game if you don't have the time. Obviously, there's like tons of games I mentioned, you just don't have the time to play them all. Just buy the token, don't play the game. Alright guys, I know it's been a long video, but that's just kind of my update on it. Uh, we're actually, I'm actually doing more NFT stuff now than play to earn games. So I might do some more NFT videos or later on down the road. 
but very exciting with NFTs. Uh, if you want to le learn more about what we're doing with NFTs, um, as well as play to earn, as well as IDOs, uh, we're just doing tons of stuff, guys. It's just a matter of how much time do you have in the day and how much money do you want to invest? And that's going to dictate, you know, potentially how much money you can you can make in a month um, if you do some research and um, get amongst it. Uh, we do all this in the Patreon group, okay? For a small fee, it's going to be worth it. And we're also rolling out a new course. It's our NFT course. That's also going to be available um, within you know a couple of weeks. And that'll be for all existing Patreon members. We're about to get that uh, NFT course because there's a lot of people um, getting into NFTs now and they don't know what to look for. So that's going to be really, really helpful, okay? So with that said, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you like this content and I'll see you guys in the next video.